15 must read books on Indian history. Discovery of India by Jawaharlal Nehru Written by India's first Prime Minister when he was in prison, 1942-1946, this book traces India's history starting from the Indus Valley Civilization. It gives a detailed account of the period ranging from the coming of the Aryans to the establishment of the British Empire. A recommended read to get a snapshot of India's incredibly long past. This book was also produced as an award-winning television series by Shyam Benegal. Freedom at Midnight by Dominique Lapierre and Larry Collins This book primarily focuses on India's independence movement during 1946 and 1948. The series of events that unfold during this period are worthy of this book being classified as a historical one. It is extensively researched, gives incredible details that you never knew and is a highly recommended book on India's independence and partition. The book also includes interviews with Lord Mountbatten, the last Viceroy of British India. The Argumentative Indian by Amartya Sen Written by the Nobel Prize winning economist Amartya Sen, this book is essentially a series of poignant essays narrating India's history and how that history has influenced and shaped its cultural identity. Sen talks about how India has had a long history of public debate and how heterodoxy was prevalent in Indian society centuries ago. This vibrant past is something that Sen believes we all should know about, considering that it can have a deep impact on the way we embrace our future. India after Gandhi, The History of the World's Largest Democracy by Ramachandra Guha Ramachandra Guha is perhaps one of India's best historians currently. This is the perfect book for you to understand the evolution of modern India. Guha, a former professor and now historian, does an awe-inspiring job of making sense of India's chaotic and eventful history since independence, the partition, Nehru's socialist policies, Rajiv Gandhi's brief but impactful career, the rise of religion and caste-based politics almost everything you want to know is there in this 900-page book. The Wonder That Was India by A. L. Basham this book is considered a useful source of history for aspirants to the Indian civil services. Basham's popular work covers the period between ancient India and the arrival of the Muslims. It covers details of the Harappan and Mohenjo-daro findings and then dwells on the now controversial Aryan invasion theory. Basham also studies the interpretations of the Rig Veda and other Sanskrit texts to give a better understanding of the country's past. The Great Indian Novel by Shashi the Ruler The Great Indian Novel is a satirical novel by Shashi the Ruler. It is a fictional work that takes the story of the Mahabharata, the epic of Hindu mythology, and recasts and resets it in the context of the Indian independence movement and the first three decades post-independence. Figures from Indian history are transformed into characters from mythology and the mythical story of India is retold as a history of Indian independence and subsequent history, up through the 1980s. History of Modern India by Bhipan Chandra This is a book on the history of British rule in India. It coincides with modern Indian history. It is not a political narrative of the British rule, the freedom struggle and independence. Rather, this book is an explanation of the factors that allowed the British to rule over India for such a long time. It deals with the economic, religious, and social history of modern India. India, a history by John Key John Key is an English journalist and author specializing in writing popular histories about India, often with a particular focus on their colonization and exploration by Europeans. In India, a history John provides a panoramic view starting from the cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro of the Indus Valley civilizations all the way to the current modern India. This book is considered by many as a perfect textbook for any student of India. Alberuni's India by Alberuni, translated by Edward C. Sacha. Alberuni is considered as one of the greatest historians of the medieval Islamic era. In 1017 AD, at the behest of Sultan Muhammad of Persia, Alberuni travelled to India to learn about the Hindus, and to discuss with them questions of religion, science and literature, 
and the very basis of their civilization. He remained in India for 13 years, studying and exploring. This book is an outcome of his rigorous study of India. The Great Partition by Yasmin Khan A thorough account of the partition of British India into modern India and Pakistan, The Great Partition is an essential read for anyone seeking to understand contemporary South Asia. The book looks at both the execution and aftermath of the partition, along with giving readers a good understanding of historical and political context. The Last Mughal by William Dalrymple William is an award-winning historian and travel writer. The Last Mughal talks about a culturally diverse and rich society during the rule of Bahadur Shah Zafar, the last Mughal emperor. In 1857, the first war against the British marked the end of the Mughal rule. William lists the manner in which these events unfolded and the impact it had on the country, both politically and culturally. His writing style and flair for capturing insights makes this book a must-read. An Era of Darkness, The British Empire in India by Shashi the Ruler An Era of Darkness is a thorough exploration of the economic, cultural, social and political damage caused to the Indian subcontinent by British colonial rule. A rich, gripping read by one of India's most globally renowned contemporary writers, this book is a must-read for anyone seeking to understand what India was like under the British. Early India, From the Origins to A.D. 1300, by Romala Thapar As far as Indian history books go, this one goes way back to explain the very formation of the country right from the prehistoric era. The author tackles the different eras and tries to compare the positive and negative aspects of every era against one another. This method gives readers a clear takeaway from each era and defines the salient points that have gone into creating a rich and diverse country. Train to Pakistan by Kushwant Singh If you are interested in learning more about life and times during India's partition, this is a good place to start. Celebrated author Kushwant Singh does not focus only on the political aspect of the partition but instead gives his story a human dimension. He delves deep into how the partition affected people of both religions and on both sides of the border and as a reader, we are left appalled by the happenings in the book. A Corner of a Foreign Field by Ramachandra Guha. This one is for the cricket lovers. And for those who love to know more about the game's origin in India. Ramachandra Guha provides a fascinating peek into the way this British sport made its foray into India and how it is now a national obsession. Starting off with the Parsis and their matches in Bombay's Maidens, this book goes into various details on the way cricket influenced India's society. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.